Okay guys, say it with me. Bear flag. So just because BCH is up over 40% today and just because Bitcoin is right now at almost 31,000 does not mean that we are reversing just yet. I'm going to start in reverse here. We're going to start with BNB, which is the Binance coin. Of course, you know SEC is suing Binance and Coinbase. You can see right here coming to hit our heads on the bottom of that channel bear flag all right i'm just going to whiz through all of the alt charts so you guys can see this is not necessarily a reversal yet we need to beat our previous pivot high in this case we're not even close all right polka dot our previous pivot high is up here right so this is just a bear flag Y'all need to relax. This is not the time to be jumping into altcoins just yet. AVAX, Avalanche. All right, pivot high right here. All right, this is just a bear flag. Until we beat these pivot highs that were set previously, this is all still a downtrend and we see notable resistance coming down here in the case of Avalanche with the 50 day moving average. ADA Cardano pivot high is way up here guys. Come on. This is not uh, don't think that we have reversed just yet. I need to see proof of that and proof is when we beat our previous pivot high. Otherwise these are all just bare flags bear flag all right i hate to keep reiterating this stuff throughout my videos but uh we have to set emotions aside we have to think logically about this look at pivot high way up here all right that's at 94 cents we're way down here on matic all right so i have a feeling we're going to come and retest that trend line arb it's hard to do analysis on this one because it's newer, but our pivot high is up here. All right. So again, just another bear flag. These are all just bear flags throughout the alt space. That's all I'm seeing. Bear flag. Solana. This could be a little bit of a bull flag right here, but a larger bear flag. All right. So just because we go up a little bit more, we can go all the way up to... 1967 we can go all the way if we can beat the 200 day moving average and it's still a bear flag all right so i'm out of that position you guys know sand bear flag algo all right still in a triangle and a bear flag all right this is not looking good for the altcoin space doji came out of a larger triangle inside of another smaller triangle up into resistance and got plenty of resistance overhead here so until we get out of this uh, triangle here this is just all just a bear flag doggy coin is just a bear flag h bar all right you guys know i just posted a trade alert took profits here why because i spotted a new level which comes all the way back here from last year november of 2022 i'm not taking my chances with this I readjusted my final target. My final target is this level, and I just took my profits. This is too hot. When the uh, what the market likes to do is hurt the most people possible, and when everybody goes bullish, that's when you know something is coming. And I just want you guys to be cognizant of this, be prepared for this. Not necessarily saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying what the charts are showing us right now is bear flag. So don't get all FOMO on these moves, all right? I know they're drastic. We had a lot of a, a, you know, a drop and then now back up again, but we still are showing bear flags in the alt space. LTC, even though we came way back up, and I'm a hodler, I'm a trader of LTC, Litecoin, and also a hodler, but this is, this is what we got to beat way up here. Otherwise, this is just another bear flag. And I say we come at least down to this level, possibly down here. All right, before we're done with the final flush out. 
BCH is the only one that doesn't have a bear flag. And of course, that's a proof of work. I've been preaching. If you're wanting to hodl coins right now, Ethereum and the big, the larger cap proof of work coins or consensus networks are a better bet. Don't hold these proof of stake because that's a lot of what the SEC is going after right now. So BCH, people are coming back to BCH because it is larger cap altcoin proof of work in some claim the real bitcoin all right and this thing has doubled in three days all right we were actually we were more than doubled in in over a week here we were down to 90 dollars and went all the way up here to 195 all right so i was just about getting ready to enter this down here at the bottom of this triangle i just wanted confirmation that we were going to remain in the triangle and not drop again and guess what started to take off on me i it, this is my confirmation candle right here and of course it just moved too fast like i couldn't uh it was outside of this triangle before i could get an entry so uh the positive side the positive thing i noted in my paid subscribers group about this when i start to feel these moves we know the end of the bear market is getting close and the beginning of another bull market is coming soon. Not saying it's hap happened yet. Obviously, you know, my sentiment in this video is there's another leg down for alts and that rings true for almost everything. Uh, BCH aside. All right. Bitcoin cash. Ethereum is showing us. This is possibly a bull flag, all right? So Ethereum is another one that the SEC, for whatever reason, even though it's proof of stake, is not going after. Probably just too big at this point. Um, uh, you gotta do frog in the water when you're going after crypto space. And this is probably just too big at, at, the, at the moment until they can tackle some of the smaller altcoins and eradicate them from the face of the earth they won't be going after the larger and so bitcoin would be last and that would be their claim to eradicate bitcoin was that it's would be that it's environmentally unfriendly all right so that's what we're looking at here and so your safest bet would be bitcoin then larger cap proof of work ethereum and maybe some consensus networks all right and now let's take a look at bitcoin real quick here what's it doing remember what i said here i said least likely is that we break above this 30,500. well now some of you are claiming well it's above 30,500. you were wrong okay remember what i said i want to see this candle closing all right our current candle another candle tomorrow and another candle after that three candles closing above that 30,500 mark as confirmation that i'm wrong and once uh, the market proves me wrong, that's when I look to enter more into Bitcoin. That's proof that we stay above the 30,500, use it as support and continue upward to my target. So uh, if I have a target up here, I'm not being bearish. I'm just looking at the current local uh, points of resistance and I know we're due for a little bit of a pullback here. We'd like to kiss mama goodbye. So my prediction still stands. I think the most likely is we come back down, kiss this line of previous resistance, now support, goodbye, and then bounce from that, tackle our 30,500 one more time. And next time we break it and proceed up to my target, which I've had for over a year now. All right. That's it, guys. Just look at the charts. Set your emotions aside. Try to think logically in all of this. Don't FOMO into this right now. You could get smashed. From what I'm seeing, this could just be a big, one last big shakeout. We are due for pullbacks in the U.S. stock market. Crypto generally follows that. So uh, just, just be careful and be disciplined watch you need to see those confirmation candles on on the bitcoin to know that we're going to continue this move all right till the next video peace y'all